Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about solution of non-homogeneous state equations, state-space analysis, control systems. Lecture series on state-space analysis, and this is lecture number 30. So our topic's name, solution of non-homogeneous state equations. What is non-homogeneous state equation and solution of non-homogeneous state equation? Overview, solution of state equations, what is homogeneous state equations or basic idea of homogeneous state equation? What is non-homogeneous state equations or basic idea of non-homogeneous state equations? What is zero state response? What is zero input response and solution of non-homogeneous state equations using Laplace transform method. Basic idea of resolvent matrix, what is state transition matrix. So our main part, solution of non-homogeneous state equations using Laplace transform method. So this is our main part actually, solution of non-homogeneous state equation solution of non-homogeneous state equation by using Laplace transform method. Solution of state equation. Consider the state variable model of a system given in equation one and two, the dynamics of linear time invariant system be written in vector matrix differential equation is as. What is the vector matrix differential equation for? x dot equals to ax plus bu. This is the state equation because left hand side, this is the left hand side, left hand side. This is the left hand side, left hand side, only differentiation terms and right hand side, this is right hand side and right hand side free of differentiation terms. That is ax plus bu. This type of equation is called homogeneous state equation. And what is the output equation? Output y equals to cx plus du. This is the output equation. And another form, x dot t equals to axt plus but and yt equals to cxt plus dut. This is the another form of state equation. Where A is the constant system matrix of order n cross n. This is the dimension n cross n and A is a constant system matrix. And B is the input coupling matrix of order n cross R. And U is a R cross one input matrix. X dot equals to X plus B U is called the straight equation. And again, Y t equals to what? Y t equals to or Y equals to C X t plus D U of T. This is the output matrix where Y equals to, where Y equals to Y is a M cross N, M cross one, M cross one output vector matrix, M cross one output vector matrix. And C is a M cross N system matrix. And D is a M cross R transmission matrix. And YT equals to CXT plus D of UT is called the state output equation or called output state equation. If A is a constant matrix, input is zero, then equation one takes the form. What is the equation one form? X dot T equals to AXT and U of T equals to zero. That means when U of T inputs function equals to zero or input response equals to zero, then the state equation X dot T equals to AXT AXT, such an equation is called the homogeneous state equation. The natural equation is if input is zero, this is the very important part, if input equals to zero, input equals to zero means U of T equals to zero. How output can exist? How output can exist? In such a system, the driving force is provided by the initial condition of the system to produce the output. 
this is the very important sentence again when input u of t equals to 0 how out output can exist in such systems the driving force is provided by the initial condition of the system to produce the output for example discharging of the capacitor so this is the homogeneous state equation and solution of homogeneous state equation if a is a constant matrix and input are non zero that means u of t not equals to zero input are non zero that means u of t u of t not equals to zero then equation one takes the form then equation one takes the x dot t equals to what x dot t equals to a x t plus b u of t and u of t not equals to zero such an equation is called non-homogeneous state equation the natural equation is input is not zero in such systems the driving force is provided by the input side of the system so input is the driving force supplier zero input response what is zero input response where in only initial conditions are considered and input function is zero that means x of initial condition x of zero consider but u of t equals to u of t equals to zero u of t equals to zero this is called zero input response so u of t equals to zero what is zero state response where is or in only input function is considered that means in this condition or in this case u of t is considered but initial condition x of 0 equals to 0 so x of 0 equals to 0 but u of t not equals to 0 this type of response is called this type of response is called zero state response zero state response so solution of non homogeneous state equation using laplace transform method if a is a constant matrix and input are non zero then equation 1 takes the form non homogeneous state equation and the solution of the non homogeneous state equation given the x dot t equals to a x t plus b u of t x dot t equals to x t plus b u t where u of t equals to zero where u of t equals to zero taking laplace transform of equation one and we get what is the laplace transform for x dot t for x dot t s into x of s and initial condition x of zero and a constant matrix xt laplace transform x of s b constant matrix u of t laplace transform u of s so this is the laplace transform form then s into x s and a into x s equals to a x 0 x 0 plus b into u of s come on x into x x in a, x of s then we get then we get si minus a into x s equals to a, x of 0 plus b u of s where si minus a i is called identity matrix i is called identity matrix why multiply by i or identity matrix because a matrix but s not matrix that's why s into i multiply and this is also matrix and si minus si minus a and this is also total one matrix so x s equals to what x s equals to si minus a whole inverse x zero plus si minus a whole inverse b u of s si minus a whole inverse and taking the inverse laplace transform and we get also this term is called phi s and this is the resolvent matrix phi of s phi of s is called resolvent matrix 
taking inverse Laplace transform and we get this is the XS. So XS equals to what? XS equals to X of T and L inverse of XS, L inverse of XS equals to X of T and this is the left hand side. This is the left hand side, sorry, this is the left hand side. L inverse SI minus a whole inverse into X0 and SI minus a whole inverse B into US, B into US, B into US. So after Laplace transformation, what is the form? XT equals to L inverse phi S into X0 plus phi S into B into US, where phi S equals to what? Where phi S equals to SI minus a whole inverse. This is the resolvent matrix phi s equals to si minus a whole inverse and this is also called resolvent matrix where phi s equals to si minus a whole inverse and phi s is called the resolvent matrix now phi s equals to si minus a whole inverse and one by s common then i minus a by s whole inverse this is the binomial form and binomial expansion one by s i plus a by s plus a square by S square plus a cube by s cube plus it a to the four by s to the four plus a to the n by s to the n plus dot dot dot. This is the binomial expansion multiplying by one by s, then i by s plus a by s square plus a square by s cube plus dot dot dot. And taking inverse Laplace transform of equation four. This is the equation four. And what is the Laplace transform? Inverse Laplace transform. This part phi of s inverse Laplace. This is phi of t and this term step input that's why what is the step function this is the step function i only i because this is the step function and this is the ramp function a by s square that's why a into t and a square by s cube equals to a square t square by factorial 2 a cube t cube by factorial 3 dot 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 a to the power n e to the power n by factorial n. This is equation number five. And this is also equivalent to, this is the e to the power at, e to the power at expansion, i plus at plus a square t square by factorial two plus a cube t cube by factorial three. So this is the e to the power at. So phi s is the resolvent matrix after inverse Laplace transformation. This is the phi t, this is the, state transition matrix and phi t equivalent to again e to the power a t again e to the power a t so phi t equals to e to the power a t equals to l inverse si minus a whole inverse are equivalent to also this is equivalent to what this is equivalent to l inverse l inverse phi of s l inverse phi of s this is equivalent to l inverse phi s this is the resolvent matrix and x phi of t is called the state transition matrix where x of t equals to what? x of t equals to L inverse phi s into x0 already proved plus phi s into b into e of s. And this is the first, first term, L inverse phi s into x0. And second term, this is the second term, phi s into b into e of s. So L inverse phi s into b into US. This is the second part. And then we get we get L inverse phi of S equals to phi t equals to e to the power a t equals to L inverse S i minus a whole inverse. Hence from equation six for the first term x of t equals to what? This is the first term. So this is equivalent to phi t into x zero or this is equivalent to also e to the power a t into x of zero. So phi t is called the state transition matrix and phi t equivalent to e to the power t and x t equals to phi t into x zero and e to the power a t into x of zero. For second, for the second term, to get the inverse Laplace transform, the method of convolution is used. In this case, this is the second term, L inverse phi s into x b into u of s. What is the convolution formula? La inverse Laplace of phi F1s into F2s. Inverse Laplace of F1s into, this is the F1s1 function, and F2s another function. Then after inverse Laplace transform, we get F1t 
f1 t into f2 t and this is equivalent to 0 to t integration 0 to t f of f1 of t minus tau f2 of tau into d tau tau actually intermediate point if this is t equivalent to 0 this is tends to t then this is the tau point intermediate and you find tau so this is the convolution formula then we get second term for second term l inverse phi s into b into u of s this is a second term this is equivalent to 0 to t phi of t minus tau b u of tau d tau this is the after convol uh, by using convolution formula so 0 to t and phi of phi of t minus tau equals to what phi of t minus tau t minus tau equivalent to e to the power a into t minus tau t minus tau i of t minus tau so 0 to t e to the power e to the power t minus tau b into u tau d tau this is also x of phi s into b into u of s and this is the second part now when input is zero then this is the input and the input is zero u of tau equals to zero so x of t equals to what phi t into x zero equals to e to the power at into x of zero this is for homogeneous state equation this is the solution for homogeneous state equation so for homogeneous state equation x t equals to phi of t into x zero equals to e to the power at x of zero that means when u of tau equals to zero which is the solution of homogeneous equation and is called the zero input response this is also called the zero input response now when initial condition is zero now when initial condition of zero that means x of zero equals to zero then what is the solution then x of zero equals to zero what is that x of t equals to what? 0 to t, phi of t minus tau, b into u tau, d tau. So again, phi of t minus tau equals to e to the power a into t minus tau. e to the power a into t minus tau, b into u tau, d tau. This is the, this is called the zero state response. This is called the zero state response. So at last, x t equals to what? x t equals to x t equals to phi t into x zero first term and second term zero to t phi of t minus tau b into u tau d tau. This is the first term, this is the second term and first term is called the zero input response and second term is called zero state response. Zero state response and another form x of t equals to what? This is the another form x of t equals to e to the power a t into x zero plus 0 to t e to the power t minus tau b into u tau d tau. This is the another form. And first term is called the zero input response. And second term is called zero state response. So the general equation x of t equals to phi t into x zero plus zero to t phi of t minus tau b into u tau d tau, where phi t is called the state transition matrix. And another form just put phi t equals to e to the power a t, then we get e to the power a t into x zero plus zero to t e to the power a t minus tau b into u tau d tau. So phi t equals to what? e to the power a t Laplace inverse Laplace of s i minus a whole inverse and this is equivalent to l inverse phi of s and phi of s equals to s i minus a whole inverse then phi s is called the resolvent matrix x t equals to phi t into x zero plus zero to t phi of t minus tau b into u tau d tau this is actually summary x t equals to x of t equals to e to the power a t x zero plus zero to t e to the power a t minus tau b into u tau d tau this is the summary thank you this is the non-homogeneous state equation solution